How you doing everybody? Welcome back to the Mechanic OC YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be talking about flashlights. That's right, every single light you're going to need as a mechanic. Before we get started, make sure you guys check out the description below because that's where I put all the links to all the tools that I use in my videos. If you guys use those links, it'll help support the channel because I get a little bit of a commission every time you guys buy something from Amazon using those links. So thank you so much for the support, it means a lot, thank you so much. Let's go ahead and get started. Today we're going to be talking about flashlights and what light I'd recommend that you guys pick up. Hands down, I always recommend that all mechanics pick up three types of flashlights. Okay, the first one is gonna be your handheld flashlight, the one that just goes in your pocket or in your toolbox whenever you need to just look at brakes or look at something really quickly above the engine and just kinda like scan around and then maybe look through wheels or whatever it is. The second light that you're gonna need is gonna be your drop light, the one that actually illuminates the engine bay whenever you're working underneath the car or you have the car above you and you just gotta have a, a constant light so you have you know a more you can see more. And then the last thing you're gonna need is a headlight, the one that goes, that straps onto your head, like so. And this one is more for when you're actually doing a job and you're working underneath the car, you're working on top of the car and you need to see more and, this, and your handheld light is just moving around too much. This one, I'll tell you when you need to use it later on in the video, but these are basically the three lights that I recommend you pick up. All right, the first flash that we're gonna be talking about is gonna be your handheld light. And hands down, the, the flashlight I love and I will always recommend is Streamlight. And there's a couple reasons why I like them, but before we get into that, if you don't, if you can't afford a Streamlight flashlight, because these things are about 160 bucks, if you can't afford it, pick up whatever flashlight you can get your hands on. Whether it's one that has a AAA battery in it, a AA battery, it doesn't matter. Get whatever flashlight you need to get and that you can afford because it's, there's, there's no sense in getting into debt just to own a flashlight, okay? It's better for you guys to save up your money and then buy one cash. If you can buy one used, buy one used and I'll tell you why in a second. But don't worry about buying the best one that you can get your hands on at the beginning. Get the one that you can afford first, okay? But the reason why I love Streamlight is for many reasons. Three main reasons though. The first one is that they work. Streamlight, you know, every time you press the button they work. They're, they're, just, they're just good lights, okay? Everything on it is high quality. The body is made from Ida, like from like really nice aluminum, and the, the finish on it is really nice. This one I've had for over 10 years, and you can see that it's all scratched up. And I've dropped this bad boy in, in so many different, I've dropped it on the floor like hundreds of times. So it's really durable, okay? Everybody that actually is doing really hard stuff, like police officers, firefighters, search and rescue guys, they all use Streamlight because they work and they're durable and they're not gonna let you down. Um, and they're really, really bright too. So it's really nice to get underneath the car and be able to flash this bad boy and then be able to look at any component and just light up the day basically because you can actually see this light activate even in the daylight. If you flash this light even when there's a wall that has sun on it, you could see the light still, which is really nice. It's an LED light and I really, really love it. It's really durable, it just works, it works. The second reason why I like this flashlight is because it's durable. Hands down, you can throw this flashlight across the room and it'll still work. You could drop this flashlight in a bucket of coolant, of oil, of anything, and it'll still work. And I've, I, I know that for a fact because I've dropped this flashlight in buckets of coolant hundreds of times and it still works. Um, so it's really, really nice because it just works no matter what you're doing. Whether you abuse it, whether you run it over, whatever it is, as long as you don't damage the actual components of it, you're good to go. So it's waterproof, it's throw proof, it's nester proof, which means it's a good light. Third reason why I love this flashlight is one of the, one of the main reasons why I like the tools that I like is because there's a bunch of aftermarket parts for them. And what, are that, what do I mean? So what I mean is that if I'm gonna pay $160 for a flashlight, I better know that all the components on this thing are sold by the company separately so that I can replace parts that need to be replaced if I break something. For example, Streamlight sells the lenses, they sell the buttons, they sell the batteries, they sell pretty much every component on this thing separately from the actual flashlight, which is really nice because normally what goes out on these flashlights is gonna be the lens because they just get, you know, they just fog up and the light isn't as bright. 
and the button, obviously, because you press it hundreds of times every single day. And obviously the battery, because your batteries go out. So Streamlight is really good with that. I mean, they support you, they give you, um, they, there's a lot of do-it-yourself videos out there now on YouTube. Um, Streamlight themselves, has, they have really good manuals. So I really love that. I really love companies that care about their customers to the point where they, well, they'll sell you aftermarket parts just so you can make sure that you keep up with your, with your light. And I really like that, because instead of buying a brand new light, I just replace the part that's broken. Which is, you know, it's better that to pay 20 bucks for a button than it is to pay 160 bucks for a brand new light. But even then, the light isn't that much money. The reason why it's 160, I think, is, I'll put it right here, how much it costs. Is because you buy two batteries and the charger, that's why it's all together. But if you just buy the body, I think it's like 100 bucks. I don't know, I'll put it right here, how much the body costs. But, Streamlight is a go-to whenever you're talking about handheld lights. And I really like this one because there's a bunch of accessories that come with it too. So, they don't come with it, but you can buy them. So like this, this belt holster, you know, you put it on there and you're good to go and you just like, boom. The only reason I don't like to use this belt holster is because it's brand new and like it's really hard to like slide out. It, it'll get stuck, but eventually when you use it enough, it'll stretch out and then you'll be able to like slip it in and out, no problem, you know what I'm talking about? So normally I just put it in my back pocket and I'm just ready to go whenever I need to like light something up. I'm just like, boom, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like, boom. Boom, 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 boom. So it's really nice just because it fits right there. Pick one up whenever you can afford one. Um, and like I said, link in the description below to all this accessory stuff. Second light you're gonna need and I recommend you get is gonna be your headlight. Now this bad boy obviously goes on your head and the reason why I like to use this one is because it frees up my hands. Because let's be real, every time you're working on a car, you, you need to light something up, you're doing a transmission, and you gotta take a bolt off, and then you can't hold the light and then, you know, go at it. And normally we don't have like, <laughs> if you have a sun, you know, hold the flashlight. But normally I don't have a sun, so I, you know, I'm, I'm on my own. So I, I try to put this stuff somewhere, like on the body of the car or something, and I kinda like illuminate where I'm going and it'll kind of do it and it'll fall off and you get frustrated. So that's when this comes in handy, is when you're working underneath the car, if you're doing a lot of suspension stuff, a lot of undercar stuff, if you're doing alignments, you're gonna need one of these lights because you're not gonna be able to be efficient when this thing's falling all over the place and you can't see what you're doing. So pick one, the, pick one of these up whenever you're doing undercar because you'll be able to free up your hands and you'll be good to go. Like I said, Streamlight is a go-to for headlights, for everything. I like this light because it's bright and it gives me two settings like a foggy, like a more expanded uh, light, and then one that's more centered, more like focused, and it's rechargeable as well, so I don't have to buy batteries for it. I gotta just remember to charge it up, and I'm good to go. Um, so uh, Streamlight also sells all the components for this bad boy by themselves. The strap, if it gets dirty or it gets stretched out, and then like the, even this, this pad here, they, re, they sell that too. So I recommend you guys buy one from Streamlight. This thing's heavy duty, if you can see here, the ring around the lens, it's pl it's um, it's plastic or it's rubber. I mean, so if you do hit it, you know, up against the car when you're working underneath it, it'll be fine. The lens won't break or anything like that because this thing is made out of tough, tough stuff. The last light you're gonna need is gonna be your drop light. Now, there's a whole bunch of different drop lights. Normally, I'm not too picky with drop lights because as long as it like you're able to hang it up, it's not gonna fall and it, you're gonna abuse it, but it's not a big deal. But there is one that I'm gonna recommend. It'll be linked in the description below from Amazon that you can pick up that my buddy recommended to me. And I haven't actually got it yet. I ordered it, but I haven't gotten it yet. I was like, I gotta just make this video. So what it does, it wraps around the hood and it's rechargeable and it, it, it does have a cord for, um, for extension cord. So it's really nice because you know, you, you're able to use that while you're working on cars. Normally, I don't use my drop light very much because I'm always using my lights for my camera because I'm always recording. That and my shop is very, very bright. The reason why I painted my floors white is because a long time ago, I watched the documentary on Target and how Target was doing well in their business. And one of the things they did to save money was lay out uh, white tile across all their stores. And they, they were able to save money on, the, on their electricity bill because they were able to dim down their lights and then cut out some of the lights because the lights, like half the lights were like dimmed off or like cut off. And they were using half the lights because the lights that they did have would reflect off the floor and make everything brighter. 
right? So the reason why I painted the floors white is because I wanted it to be brighter. I need to, I need to see what I'm doing. I don't like working in a shop where all the lights are out and then you're like, it's dark because <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So, I, you know, I have all my lights set up and all my floors set up so it reflects and then I can see better. So I normally don't use my, my drop light because I can see very well. So uh, you guys know that if you're working on, at a regular shop, the cement, the floors are cement, your boss hasn't replaced the freaking light bulbs in years and you barely have one light that's flickering. So you need, you're gonna need a really nice drop light. So this is the one I recommend. It's really heavy duty. My buddy said he ha he's had it for about three years now and he hasn't had any issues with it. He didn't have to, re he hasn't had to replace the bulb yet. So, you know, it's a very durable light and he says he uses it very frequently at least twice a day. So that's a lot. Um, but anyways, pick one up. Link in the description below to that light. Make sure you guys go pick one up. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get mine pretty soon and when I, when I do, I'll have like a full on unboxing video and a review video once I use it and then I, I tell you guys what I think. But my buddy's pretty good with tools so he knows what the hell he's talking about. So he's gonna, he recommended it to me so I'm like, okay, I'll pick one up. But make sure you guys go check out all of the stuff in the link in the description below because that's where I put everything. Okay, and let me know what you guys wanna hear about. If you guys wanna hear more about tool stuff, let me know in the comment section. If you guys wanna hear more about business stuff, leave it in the comment section. Because at, at the end of the day, guys, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to give you guys advice that I never had. Because when I was a young guy, I didn't know about flashlights. I had to kind of figure this stuff out myself. I, I, I was a mechanic back in 05, 06, and like I barely, there was no YouTube. There was no nesters back then. You know, there was nobody doing anything like this. So it sucked because I had to kind of figure this stuff on my own. So now that you guys are, are the younger mechanics, you guys have everything. You guys have diagnostics, you guys have everything, like tool reviews, you know, everything on YouTube, which is incredible. And that's what I'm here for, is to give you guys information that I never had. That's why I always stress, guys, if you don't have the money to buy a Streamlight, buy something that you can afford. It's okay, okay, get through it. Make some money, get some experience, and once you make the money, buy the nice stuff. Because at the beginning, you don't need it. That's why I always advocate that. So I'm here to help you. And let me know what you guys wanna hear about. Hit the subscription uh, bell and notification bell if you haven't already. Hit the like button, and let me know what you guys wanna hear about. So follow me on all my social medias. You can talk to me there, Nestor Mendoza, or The Mechanic NM for my Instagram, my personal one, and then my business one is The Mechanic OC. Make sure you guys follow me there. And make sure you guys go to nestormendoza.com and sign up for my newsletter because that's where I give you all the business advice. I give you guys daily motivation and a bunch of little tips that I really can't talk about here on the YouTube. So make sure you guys go check that out. And if you guys do wanna know more about how to navigate your career, whether it's your brand new high school student and you wanna get into the trade and you wanna go to trade school, I teach you everything you need to know. I teach you how to get a job, how to get a raise, how to navigate your career so you have better options when you actually do retire. So make sure you guys go pick that course up at automechanicacademy.com. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Let me see if I can fuck. Go ahead, do it again. Just fuck around, move around. It's go time. Yeah, guys. Today I'm talking about, about this racket. Yeah, see this guy? Bring <laughs> that. Again. Just fuck around, move around. It's two time! Two time! <laughs>